Gym girls should not gatekeep. I've accidentally, unintentionally been gatekeeping my glute day. You guys have been asking and I haven't posted anything in a while. Sorry, but here we go. This is one of my fire glute days. Starting with some dynamic stretching, a little bit of boogie, and we're off. So I'm starting with squats at the moment because I'm really trying to progress them. Um, normal people wait until they're like really warm before they start stripping. But no, me, I'll just start stripping after the first few sets. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. I think I got up to like 95kg on my squats and um, 100 gang soon come. Um, then after my squats, I'll go into cascoot bridges, supersetted with hip thrusts. And then I also do like a 10 second iso hold as well. You can see the difference in the range of motion and the booty was hurting. Um, when I get heavy, I just go to failure. Most of the time, I don't get any hip thrusts after my holds and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, this is me finding a new way to put away my weights. I saw that on TikTok. It's actually a really good idea. Um, then I go into RDLs. You'll see here, I'm actually pausing when the glutes in its lengthened position. Um, I found that that really engages my glutes and I really enjoy doing that now. Um, then everyone's favorite move, Bulgarian split squats. You'll see my gym bros watching me because they forced me to go heavier, even though I told them I literally had no energy. But it's fine. We pushed through. Um, went to failure on that. It was disgusting and I nearly passed out. But still always have time. Oh, you can see me twerking there. <laughs> always have time for a quad off. I was showing the guys my quads just then. And then I'll finish with some sort of isolation. So for this one, I did cable kickbacks. And here we go. The pump. 